Hey everybody, Karthik Subramaniam over at Adi Schools. Welcome to our podcast. Got your email here. Dear Karthik, I just took your real estate class and I want to start creating content online. Hey, it's a pretty good idea, man. What kind of content do you want to do? Let's keep reading the email. It says, I really like the podcast format that you have and I wondered what equipment I need to start recording podcasts like you. Let me know and the student's name. Well, I'm going to preface this by saying the equipment that I have, I'll go over all the equipment that we use here in our office to record our audio and um, you can decide what you want to do with it because first, you need a mic. Now, the mic we have here in, the, in our studio here in the office is a Shure SM7B. This is a pretty legit mic. Pretty much every radio station in the country is going to use the Shure SM7B. Michael Jackson recorded his Thriller album with, a, with that iteration of this mic. So everybody uses this mic. This mic costs between $300 and $500, number one. The mic is then plugged in in our studio here in the office to an interface uh, called an Apollo Twin. Now, the Apollo Twin, if you Google it, it's like five stars across the board. This is a $900 little supercomputer. It's like an interface. It's basically what the mic goes into. So my voice travels from the mic into the Apollo Twin. And the Apollo Twin has a bunch of compressors and equalizers and plugins and all sorts of stuff that makes this audio sound as professional as it does. The Apollo Twin is no joke. It's super legit. Highly recommend that you Google Apollo Twin. The Apollo Twin is then plugged into a very large iMac running a software called Pro Tools. Now, you know, the iMac... We have a 27-inch iMac. It's a couple years old, but um, this iMac's probably, I don't know, 1800 bucks. Pro Tools is 600 Now, I don't think as a brand new real estate person, you need a Shure mic into an Apollo Twin, into a large iMac running Pro Tools. I mean, it's overkill. Plus the complexity, if you're not trained on Pro Tools or how to use the Apollo Twin, I literally have an engineer that works in the office that is super talented. He's here at least four days a week and at least a few hours a day recording something for me or cleaning up some audio for me. So if I were to be handed, even today, I've, I stare at Pro Tools at least four times a week. I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to use the Apollo Twin. I have no idea. I literally have an engineer in the office that I pay monthly to handle this audio work. So... If you want your audio to sound perfect, those are probably the tools that you're gonna need, just being very open. You'll need a pretty good mic, a Rode or a Shure or a Sennheiser mic. The Apollo Twin is kind of a gold standard. Everybody uses it. Pro Tools is the universally accepted audio editing software. So I mean, but these are all high ticket, high dollar, complicated pieces of equipment. You don't necessarily need all of this because even if you got it, unless you had somebody running it for you, you would not know what to do. I don't even know what to do. And I'm in the studio recording audio and video almost every day. So I would highly advise against the setup that we have in the office here as you start your uh, podcasts or your audio or video work. Even our video, we have a, have a, a guy that's in our office again almost every day that records and edits the video for us. I mean, you don't need that just getting started. If you look at some of my early YouTube videos, it was literally just me in front of my own camera. I set up the camera, hit record, recorded it, put it into iMovie, tried my level best to edit it without making a fool of myself and uploaded it to YouTube. You could literally just have voice memos going on your iPhone, record whatever content you want, convert that to an MP4 file in iMovie or in Final Cut or in Premiere, and even that's a process, and you could upload it to video or upload it to YouTube on your own. 
But the key lesson here is it's not so much the equipment that you have, it's the content that you're putting out that's way more important than the money you spend. In 2018, in the age of the internet, and in the age of kind of do-it-yourself work, you don't need this level of equipment. You don't need an audio engineer in the office. I'm 17 years in the business. I mean, I think people expect a certain standard from me just because I've been around for so long. But if you're just starting in the real estate business and you want to create content, just go, right? Create content. You don't need you don't need all this stuff. You can use your you can use your iPhone or your Android and get 90% of the effect that we get here with all of our with all of our fancy equipment. But if you want to know what we're using to record, that's what we use. A Shure SM7B into an Apollo Twin into an iMac running Pro Tools. So, hope this helps. I hope I'm not encouraging you to spend a ton of money either. So, the key thing is first get some traction. First Make sure that you're comfortable behind a microphone. Make sure that you're comfortable talking when it's literally just you in a room. A lot of times it's easy to carry on a conversation with someone else, but literally if you just turn on the mic and hit record, it's just you and that microphone. There's no one else in the room and that takes some getting used to for some people. So before you go out and spend a bunch of money, just record four, five, six, ten 10 podcasts. Make sure you're comfortable talking behind a microphone in the privacy of your own home or your own office. And then you can move on to some of this more expensive, fancy stuff. Don't forget to like this video if you're watching it on YouTube. I'd love to connect with you on Instagram. If you are interested in taking real estate classes and becoming an entrepreneur, our phone number to the office is on the screen and in the description box. I'd love to connect with you and we'll catch you on the next one.